Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Okay, um, right now what we're doing is, well, first I'm trying to get the non-loadable mat to load, but then we are going to background scan in this black piece of paper and we are going to pull up a black PES file so that you can see how you can change your settings so that it is easily readable because most of us have it set to the darkest okay so I'm gonna leave it there pull up my PHC file because I'm gonna use PHC that's what comes from my my embroidery machine we'll just do this big hedgehog okay okay set all right, so he's on my mat now. Let's do my background scan. Pretend this is a piece of like marine vinyl for right now. And up will pop a big black blob. And no matter how hard you look, you cannot see I mean, yeah, I guess I can if I wiggle this a certain way and I look at it across, yeah. Like, I can see it right now looking at it a certain way, but it is very difficult to see, okay? So what I do is I'm going to come up here, I'm going to click this wrench, I'm going to click that middle one, and I'm going to click OK, and there it is, okay? So then I move it, position it where I need to, okay? Now, if this was super small, I'd come into my edit screen, my magnifying glass, and I keep magnifying it come on and then if it was a really stop doing that if it was a really small design I could move it ever so gently right here okay so that's how you will get the fine movement alright but that's how you are able to see your black outline on black media okay and then you click through alright then you hit your cut. Now, if someone says, oh, make it a draw file, that does not work, okay? Because it is a cut file being sent over, not a draw file. And, okay, let me just show you, for those of you that think I'm speaking French. Okay, yes, it comes up, but there is no start. And also, your background does not come in either. Okay, so it's basically useless. You can't even see how close you get that way, all right? So that's how you send over your embroidery cut files. Just take that color down to a medium, all right? And if when you're done, you forget, that's okay. The next time you come in, there's that wrench button right there. You can tune that bad boy back up, okay? If you take it off, well, guess what? Everything just disappears. There's nothing there. Okay, so make sure that you don't turn it off. If you turn it off, you're going to think that something's broke in your machine. So don't ever turn it off. Then the background scan is basically useless, okay? All right, guys, if you have any questions, you can find me over at my group, um, Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook, and there is a link in this description of this uh, video. Thanks, guys.